Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Factor Tree Worksheets. So this video will present some slides to give us practice in finding the prime factors of a given number and in doing so we can use the process we saw in the previous video. So here are some straightforward numbers. Now I want you to quickly notice that let's just take these six here. You can see that each of these numbers is an even number. So you know straight away that 2 is a factor and that's the lowest prime number. So we can say for example two, uh, 20 equals 2 times 10 and you just proceed from there. So always start with 2 when the number is even. Now it's exactly the same with all of these here. You can actually start the factor tree with 2 times something. So that's a very straightforward hint and I think you understand what I'm talking about if you saw the previous video. Okay, now over here we have 102, now that's still even so we can do 2 times something. Now 105, because that's a 5, that is an odd number. So we cannot go 2 times something. So what do we do next? Obviously we try 3 times something. And if that doesn't work, then we try 5 times something. So it's very, very important to remember that, that if the number here is an odd number, you cannot write 2 times something. Now we come down here and that's the same. You see down here, that is an odd number. Now if 3 times something doesn't work, try 5 times something. Now you know that 5 will work. 5 will be a factor of this. Why? Because it ends in 5. How's that for a little trick? Because it ends in 5, you know that 5 divides into it. Now we come across to here and we notice that all of these numbers are even. So we can start off with 2 times something. Okay, so you remember what the factor tree looks like. We start off like that. Then we continue the branch down like that. See that? That's what we did in the, in the lesson. Okay. We continue that down there. We continue that down there. And then we continue to do that. And all the numbers we arrive at at the end, those numbers there, whatever they are, they are all prime numbers. Okay? And they're all multiplied together. So all those numbers, when they're multiplied together, they will give you the original number that we started with. And you'll see that that's a, like a tree upside down. If you look at all these parts here, they look like branches of an upside down tree. So this video has presented just a couple of slides to give us practice in finding the prime factors of a given number using a factor tree.